Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on displacement on a velocity time graph when you have a constant velocity. I'm going to put the calculator aside for this video and a series of videos looking at the kinematic equations of motion. In this first video we have here a velocity time graph. We have velocity on the y-axis and that's measured in meters per second. You might have seen this notation before, um, ms to the power of minus one means meters per second and on the x-axis we have the time in seconds so we're using meters and seconds which are standard units uh, there for uh, distance and for time. You may sometimes encounter a graph where you have speed on the y-axis rather than velocity and that might be a little bit more to do with if you're measuring perhaps a journey and perhaps the units would be kilometers per hour or miles per hour. Now you can see that we have a straight line here representing a constant velocity. The velocity doesn't change throughout this time period. I'm going to label that with a letter U and I'll go into why I use U rather than V in the next video. V is used for another thing related to velocity. And I'm also going to give the value for the time here. I'm just going to give that as a letter T. Now in the past you may have come across this particular triangle, it's used as a, a memory aid uh, to help you to remember the relationship between distance, speed and time. So we're just going to have a little look at this, um, so we should know that um, speed is distance divided by time, time is distance divided by speed, but we're going to concentrate on the last of those three which is distance equals speed multiplied by time. So hopefully you've come across those equations uh, before. Now for the kinematic equations of motion, I'm going to have to introduce uh, a different set of letters than what we have here for the triangle. Now I've already introduced two of them to you, the U and the T on the graph. Uh, so the speed would be the velocity, which is U in this case, time is T. We're just going to use a lowercase letter rather than a capital letter. Now D is slightly different, um, we use the letter S instead, um, which stands for displacement, it's from the Latin spatium, uh, which means distance or space. So we're going to use the letter S not for speed, uh, but for displacement, and it just differentiates it a little bit from distance. You can measure a distance as a displacement, such as uh, the distance a vehicle has travelled, but it could be referring to something such as the height of a bouncing ball. So it's nice to differentiate between uh, sort of the distance a car might be travelled and this displacement that we're going to be using. So we're going to use the letter S rather than D, and that letter S is going to stand for displacement and then we're going to substitute in the speed, which is our velocity, which in this particular graph is the letter U, and then we've got our T, which is time, we're just going to use a, a lowercase t though in that case. And this is the first of our equations of motion, S equals UT. It really is very, very similar to distance equals speed times time. Now I'm going to use this and the shape of the graph to establish a key fact uh, about what we have displayed on a velocity time graph here. And that is that the area under the graph uh, will be equal to the displacement. And let's have a look at what the shape of this particular graph is. Well, it's a rectangle. Yeah, there's a rectangular shape formed beneath the, the graph there of the constant velocity. And Let's have a think, little think about how we would look at the area of a rectangle. Well, it would be length times width or length times height. So the height in this particular case is the value of u, whatever that might be, so the value of our velocity. And the length would be the value of t or our time. Yet, yeah, so how would we work out the area of the rectangle? Well, we do length times width, so we do the value of u times t. And that is the same as the displacement. So it's telling us that the area of this particular rectangle, the area under the graph that we had, is equal to the displacement. And that's quite a key fact in terms of interpreting uh, velocity time graphs, speed time graphs, so that you know that the area underneath represents the displacement. And we're going to be using that in a series of future videos. So there we go, we've established our first kinematic equation of motion, S equals UT, where you have a constant velocity, so the velocity doesn't change, the speed doesn't change, multiplied by the time, and that gives you the displacement. And we have also established that the displacement is equal to the area under the graph. This is going to be very important going forward over the next few videos. So I'll see you in the next video on this, the kinematic equations of motion. Thank you very much for watching.